An F-22 Raptor used AIM-9X Sidewinder to bring down the Chinese surveillance balloon off the coast of South Carolina. The Pentagon has identified at least one other surveillance balloon currently transiting Latin America, and it was noted that these balloons are all part of a PRC fleet of balloons developed to conduct surveillance operations, which have also violated the sovereignty of other countries, the official said, adding that balloons have been spotted in countries spanning five continents in recent years. While the balloon has made headlines, it's nothing compared to several other efforts in the same direction. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the balloon is just a small part in the Chinese espionage racket. Let's get started. On the 26th of December 2019, a Chinese man in the United States had been caught snapping photos of the Naval Air Station in Key West, Florida. The man went to the area early and started snapping clips of sensitive locations. As per reports, at about 6.50 a.m., some people in the vicinity saw him walking around a perimeter fence and entering the military facility from the rocks along the water. They even warned him that he was trespassing in a restricted site, which is also known as Truman Annex. In the meantime, the U.S. military police noticed it and swung into action. The personnel approached him and checked out the photos on his mobile phone. The police officers immediately called a federal agent. The federal agent arrested Lau on a charge of entering the naval property for the purpose of photographing defense installations. This is just one of several such incidents. In September of 2018, Zhao Qianli, who claimed to be a music teacher from China, got caught by the Key West police for trespassing on the high-security naval air station. In July 2021, four Chinese nationalists were charged in the U.S. in a China-backed global espionage campaign targeting dozens of companies, universities, and government agencies in the U.S. and at least 11 other countries between July 2009 and September 2018. It's evident that many Chinese citizens are working as spying instruments. India has banned hundreds of apps, including TikTok, PUBG Mobile, Battlegrounds Mobile India, and UC Browser, with affiliation to China starting in June 2020, amid skirmishes at the border of the two neighboring nations. New Delhi had said it banned the apps because they posed threats to the national security and defense of India, which ultimately invades upon the sovereignty and integrity of India. TikTok had over 200 million monthly active users in India and counted the South Asian nation as its largest international market by users prior to the ban. On the 6th of February this year, the ban was extended to around 230 more Chinese apps including 138 betting apps and 94 loan lending apps on an urgent and emergency basis. Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, Commissioner Brendan Carr recently said India set an incredibly important precedent by banning TikTok two and a half years ago. He projected a similar fate for the Chinese giant ByteDance app in the U.S. Carr warned that TikTok operates a sophisticated surveillance tool and told the Indian Daily Economic Times that banning the social app is a natural next step in our effort to secure communication network. The senior Republican on the Federal Communications Commission said he's worried that China could use sensitive and non-public data gleaned from TikTok for blackmail, espionage, foreign influence campaigns, and surveillance. He said, we need to follow India's lead more broadly to weed out other nefarious apps as well. In October 2022, a very concerning revelation was made. The Chinese military has been recruiting British veterans with years of piloting experience to help improve its own air forces. They have been persuaded to move to China and train pilots of the People's Liberation Army Air Force. United Kingdom's Ministry of Defense official told the New York Times China has already recruited as many as 30 
former British military pilots in recent years to train its military. China has mostly drafted former pilots with experience on fast-flying fighter jets but has also heavily recruited helicopter pilots. A spokesperson for the UK's Ministry of Defense MOD, who spoke to the New York Times under the customary condition that he not be named, told the New York Times that China has offered lucrative contracts to draw in Britain's former military pilots with salaries of about $270,000 per year. The British official said that the Chinese recruiting effort has been ongoing since even before the coronavirus pandemic in 2020, but said their efforts have ramped up in recent months. China's adopted a plan to ensure this activity doesn't come under the scanner and has been successful to an extent. The efforts have gone unnoticed for so long because China has contracted for these British pilots through a private, third-party, South African test-flying academy in South Africa. The New York Times reported China's military has been able to recruit several pilots who had flown multi-role fighter jets like the Typhoon, Jaguar, Tornado, and Harrier, but has not been able to recruit any pilots who had flown the UK's most advanced F-35 stealth fighters. There's no reason to believe that similar attempts of luring U.S. pilots are not being made. Over the years, China has persistently targeted the U.S. with sophisticated cyber attacks. China obtained more than 50 terabytes of data from the U.S. defense and government networks, notably the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter Stealth, Radar and Engine Secrets through cyber espionage. The NSA estimated that the Chinese had conducted more than 30,000 cyber attacks as part of the massive defense industrial espionage and that more than 500 attacks were significant intrusions in the Department of Defense DoD, systems. More than 1,600 network computers were penetrated and at least 600,000 user accounts were compromised by Chinese cyber spying. In all, the NSA concluded that the Chinese compromised key components of the F-35. For example, the design details of AN-APG-81 active electronically scanned array radar for the F-35 have been stolen. Importantly, critical aspects of the F-35 stealth capability moved to the Chinese hand. The Chinese stole data on the methods used by the turbine to cool gases emitted by the F-35's engine along with leading and trailing edge engine treatments and engine heat reduction data, all key elements of its stealth design. Over the years, China has tried to make inroads in the decision-making process of countries like New Zealand, Taiwan, and Australia. In one notable case, politician Yang Zhang, who had spent 15 years working in China's military intelligence sector, was elected to New Zealand's parliament in 2011. In recent years, China has made a concerted effort to influence politics in the United States. Chinese state media organizations operating in the United States were responsible for a significant amount of money reported under FARA. As per reports filed to the Justice Department under the U.S. Foreign Agents Registration Act, or FARA, China has spent around $280 million in the last six years to influence U.S. politics, and this is more than any other country. Pro-Beijing actors, including private media outlets controlled by owners sympathetic to Beijing, now control the United States' Chinese language, television, print, and online media. This allows the authoritarian Chinese government to feed its propaganda to millions of people, potentially influencing how they vote. Unlike Russia, which often targets individual politicians or just tries to create chaos, Beijing generally wants to change U.S. views of China more broadly. You might think of terms of the Russian intelligence services providing bursts of bad weather, Ken McCallum, Director General of Britain's MI5 intelligence agency said in 2020, China is changing the climate. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.